Is that a little boat? I think it is. Yeah. Just a little boat around the back of the workshop. Let's continue down here, see what else we've got then. I should say to you guys, welcome back everyone to some more Pacific Drive. <laughs> if you enjoyed that first video, then I think we're in for another treat today. Because I'm pretty sure this is going to be another longer one. We're going to try and finish up the story and see where all of this goes. Also, while I'm on that topic, Marguerite Maida. I think I'm saying that right. From Subnautica. That's who Oppie's voice reminds me of. I really don't know if it's the same person, but so many of you guys mentioned it. I'm so glad we're on the same wavelength as well. And on that note, I do want to say a massive thank you to every single one of you guys who showed love on that first video. I knew some of you guys would enjoy this. I just didn't quite expect the amount of love that you guys shown and the amount of people that actually did enjoy the episode and want to see more. So thank you so much. I really don't think we've got too much to mess around with here. Where did you say the track was that we could use? Was it outside and to the right maybe of the front of the auto shop? But yeah, I've been busy off screen. Nothing that you guys wouldn't have already seen. I mean, apart from the upgrades that I've applied, but it's nothing that you wouldn't have seen me do already, which is just going around collecting stuff that we need for the fabricator to upgrade things. So I guess we should start there. I do need that bigger antenna as well. I've got to remember to do that. Let's open this. So if we go into here... I'm going to briefly show you all what I've upgraded. So I think this is like, yeah, the first menu where you can upgrade everything. I need this. I need the advanced workbench. So at some point, we are going to get this today. So let's go across to engine. I did go ahead and upgrade to the turbo light engine. I haven't actually got that yet, but I've upgraded so we can make that if we get the ingredients. Like pretty much what you're going to see throughout this. So I've got the ability to make it, but it doesn't necessarily mean I have. And this one is... Like utilities and stuff. Again, I've got the option of upgrading to the auto parker, the jump jacks, and resource radar. I wanted to leave this for the episode because it says unstable energy. I'm not entirely sure how we get that. The stable energy seems fine when we come out from exploring, but I'm not entirely sure how we get that. So I guess we'll see during today. And then what else we got? The battery as well. I think I upgraded to, yeah, the lightning rod. I've made this because it says... Frankenstein's Doctor of the Monster. Now you can argue about whether it's the mechanic or the vehicle. Capture electrical energy from lightning strikes and send it straight to your battery. Which is a little bit of a problem in that last episode. I kept having to recharge it, so hopefully that helps. And then what else have we got? Yeah, the fuel I'm going to have to work on. This is the storage that I'm going to have to get to. I did make a couple of the racks for like the side of the vehicle and on the top, so we got more storage if we need it. I've upgraded the wheels as well to the summer tires. I might do the off-road ones. Yeah, because we've got the stable energy to use it. What else do we do? The car body I upgraded to steel, I believe, we're on now. And yeah, I still need to get a few more things before we upgrade that again. The headlights, which you'll remember from the first one with the crude ones, with like the traffic light kind of shielding on them. It's basically gone back, but it is an upgrade to the first ones we used. You'll see them in a second. And then these are the tools and things. So I think this is you guys call it. There we go. So we upgraded to the steel sheet circuit board the next thing would be carbon fiberglass so that's what we're looking at next so that's pretty much you guys up to speed with everything i've updated here the only other things you wouldn't have seen was just me placing down some storage kind of lockers which are these things here i think this is to upgrade me so i have more storage like a, a few extra slots which you can see at the bottom there in the backpack this is the fax machine i don't know why it's blinking i've literally just put this down because i just wanted to throw everything down that i could upgrade so we can use limb for improved electroplating on metals like we never have before. It's a revolution. Oh god, my hand. See, I don't know who's saying this. Because when I read about it, it said it shouldn't even be connected. So I don't know who's sending me these like little tips and stuff to use. We got some more lockers here, some more over there as well. But this is our baby. Looking like a taxi from the future right now as well. <laughs> but as you can see, she is still looking kind of cool though. The headlights that we had at the beginning, again, that was an update or an upgrade that we made. And we got the summer tires too. I chose to go for the yellow just because it's easy to see from far away because I've been doing a lot of stuff on foot too. Changed the uh, the decal thing on the front, like the badge. We got the, uh, the yellow matching aerial. We got the pizza slice inside. And I found this little guy. Oh, he's shy. Look at him. He's disappearing. He's melting into the sands. <laughs> His name's Mischievous Malcolm. He is being very mischievous right now. <laughs> but I got a load of, uh, like, side storage too. Some floodlights, some extra storage that we can use, which I've got, like, tools and everything in. But that's really it. It's just small things that we can use while we're out on our adventures. So 
Nothing that you guys wouldn't have already seen me kind of collect along the way. But what we need to do now is head back out because we have some unfinished business up in E1. So let's get to it. Oh, she's purring again. Ready for another full day of adventures. <laughs> I do want to let you guys know as well, just before we get things underway, I've actually pulled my back and about, I'd say an hour ago, I've had some pretty strong painkillers. So if you hear me like wince or making any weird noises during these next couple of hours, at least you know why, okay? It's not me just making weird grunts or anything like that. If I go into a certain position, you know that kind of like shock pain that you get? It's like under my shoulder blade. It's so awkward. All right, let's get to this one. E1 then. So we got to go to E4 first. I actually love coming through the zones when it's daytime. At nighttime, it's not my favorite thing, but during the day, you get to see so much more of the beauty of this game. At nighttime, it's just like everything's trying to kill you. I see, I say that. Look, look what's just happened. I'm just, <laughs> just going to learn my lesson. Just stop talking. Oh, there we go. Right, let's just grab one of those. We're definitely going to need it. I saw the mannequins over there. Some people will let me know as well. They're not mannequins. They're crash dummies or whatever they are. They're mannequins to me, okay? They look identical to what I would call a mannequin. They've only got like that kind of crash thing on the side of them. I know, but I'm going to stick to it now. I'm going to... I'm going to keep calling them mannequins. Because if I try and change it up... What? If I try and change it up, something... No, 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 no. Oh, I hate these things. No! These are a nightmare. Get over there. I'm going to have to make a tool that I can grind them down with. I've not really come across anything yet. I think that's going to break. They cause so many problems on the vehicle. All right, we've got a little bit of juice in the arc device, and then we can continue on. So where are we starting here? Let's have a look. So there are a few places that I should probably take the time to, to loot up. And if I come across anything, I guess I'll bring you guys back. But this is what we're trying to get to down here, and then we're going to go through. There's a point of interest there as well. Okay, we'll get to it. I'll bring you guys back in a second once we found some stuff. All right, we've got a couple of buildings here. Ooh, look at that sneaky one in the ground like that. You see, you hit them and you go flying forward. <laughs> There's just no stopping you, so you've got to be so careful. Especially with these things as well. Did I not scan them last time? Wait, that's called a tourist? Hi, Christina. Hi, how are you? So, um, it turns out you were right. We've had reports from several regions of the zone now, and they're all very similar. We have these dummy things out in the wilderness, and um, we also have them inside abandoned houses. We also have them in gas stations, on the road, on the top of signs. One report here says on a roof. We've spotted about 600 now. The file catalogs each and every one. I wonder what they are then. Maybe they are people. Oh, and you're quite right about the other thing too. Yeah, I know what happens when someone touches one. We all got plenty of data on that. Yeah, I know what happens. I found out last time. So, um... Uh, excuse me? That was these guys, right? Just appearing. So, um, I'm going to be applying for a position in Portland now. I've done my review. It was a great time being contracted here for sure, but I'm not sure I want to work at Arda full time, you know? It's, um, it's very strange here. You work in a very strange place. I'm sure you're doing very important work, and I respect that greatly, but I think I'd like to go back to academia now. Oh, God. There's one of them outside. I know for a fact it wasn't there before. So, is that implying that these things can be controlled, or they are zoning in on the living? That's so creepy to think about as well. Oh, fabric. Give me that. Is that what just kind of scattered across my screen? Right, let's have a look over here. Some of you guys were saying as well, there's definitely horror elements to this. I can't agree more. Like, the amount of times I've picked up some of the uh, the anchors, and those things have just been right in my face when I turn around. Yeah, I think I'm going to need... Oh, maybe we need a pry bar here. I was going to say we need a scrapper, but look at that. They tricked us. Might not need anything. Got some light in this one. We're good. And... Let's just transfer what we need. Not everything. Definitely need the duct tape and the plastic. I think I can make a scrapper now. That is really strong wind. Is this like one of the extreme conditions? I think it might be. 
Oh, you know what? That might push the car into the... Uh, I'm going to call them tourists then. And cause some damage. Okay, right. Let's get back inside then. Let's not mess around with this. Come on. Fire things up. Oh, I see it. Yep, yeah, it is. Okay, right. We got to go. Come on. Go, go, go. Don't hit one of those. This wind. Oh, <laughs> I really thought that was going to push me into them. Right, so we want to get to the bottom of this road and do a right. With the new tyres as well, you can see that I've got a lot more speed. I'm really happy about that, but I'm still suffering off-road, so I think I need those off-road tyres. Let's see. Oh, a little bit more plastic. Nice. Do we have enough yet to make scrap with? Or a scrapper with? No. So we need, <laughs> we need one more piece of plastic. And that wind's kind of tamed as well. Perfect. Yep, okay, so the zone is closing in then. See, that breaks my heart a little bit. I would really wish that there was a way that we can stop or slow that down a lot more. Because it feels like I'm not really spending too much time at one area, but I guess that's the whole point, right? It's the exclusion zone. It's super unpredictable. There's things that you can't really plan for. Just don't hit any of those things. Keep the car as best we can kind of need the stuff that's in there though so we got to use every advantage to get some resources while we can what's in this come on give me something good oh i'm taking all of that yep wait didn't grab all of it there we go just hold on to it get going keep it moving while we got the time little cabin over there i'm gonna leave that for now in between going from points a to b like with the missions and things i will do a lot more grinding as well so if you see me like missing anything here don't worry, I'll spend a little bit of time getting everything we need. Alright, so this is the gate here. I'm going to take a second just to get that battery working properly because I don't want to have problems while I'm in a different part of the zone that might be more unstable. So, where did I put everything? Can I just stack things into there? There we go. Got another one there as well. We'll keep that on us so we can heal. Which one did I leave in? There they are. I've always tried to make sure that I'm bringing stuff out that I might need. So, yeah, there we go. The battery's not good. Let me... Oh, you know what? I don't think... Oh, I used it while I was out scavenging for supplies. No! Yeah, I didn't put anything in this one either. Okay, that might be a problem then. Let's see what we can find. Maybe I'm able to make another one. We'll see if we can. don't think this is going to give me everything that I need, though. Break this open. We've got a little bit of time before that zone starts getting crazy with us, so should be okay. <laughs> Famous last words <laughs> in about 30 seconds. Oh, look at this. <laughs> Let me know in the comments if you know what that is. <laughs> I'll be very surprised if people don't know what that is, to be honest. One of the greatest things ever. And I've been telling you guys, I've been getting back into my retro stuff lately as well. Been looking for a really clean example of one of those. Right, let's see. Do we have enough? Oh, we do. Okay, nice. Perfect. We have enough for a battery jumper, so let's go ahead and give that a shock. And we're back in business. I might want to make another one. You know what? I'm doing it. I don't want to be left short with this stuff, so let's get that back out. Are things getting crazy again? Feels like something's amping up, so <laughs> let's get a move on again. The gate's just ahead, so we should be okay. I mean, it's close, but it's not anything we really need to worry about. Should I use this? Oh, we're going. Oh, we're zooming. <laughs> Dead through. It's just so hard to control. All right. So if we go to this one now, look at that either side extreme conditions. It's terrifying. Oh, we need this truck. No, 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 no. I can't pass up the chance to not loot this thing. There's so much good stuff in these. What in the 1980s horror movie was that sound? <laughs> right, we got these things going off. I hated that. I don't know what that was about. Right, let's take all of these. Oh, a new decal. Sketchy, I like that. Uh, what else we got? Wait, is that a brick wall? I, that's what Malcolm looked like when I found him, so I thought we got the same thing. Imagine putting two Malcolms inside. Two mischievous Malcolms just sat there on the dash, just disappearing whenever the camera's on him. Look at that little shit. <laughs> Keeps disappearing when I'm trying to show you guys. There he is. He's back again. It's like an ostrich. <laughs> Come on. Let's keep it moving. So straight down here to the right and up the road. 
going through that. I don't know if I've scanned that yet. I've just driven past them every time. I probably should you jump out. I need to know where everything is. So there it is. The sizzling mist. I like the names of some of these. The anomalies are getting crazier and crazier. Listen to that soundtrack too. That orchestral hum of just <laughs> what sounds like death. <laughs> so we get this tower and then if everything goes bad, I can at least stay on the road all the way down to this one. If we need to get out in that gateway. So that's the plan anyway. Hopefully we don't get like a puncture or anything like that or some kind of other shit happening. I am going to get this lead. I've got a little bit of an obsession right now with getting all this lead. I'm hoping that it pays off. Get to the gateway. <laughs> there it is, straight away, in the top right. Oh. Wait, is it already a like a predetermined one? I can't remember. Oh, it is. Right, I'm just going to follow the road round. Time to go. So up, follow that road all the way. Use these summer tires to get me there. It's going to be slow right now, but we should be okay. <laughs> the panic that sets in with that noise is so crazy in this. Come on. Find that road. Where is it? Stay away from them. Let's go. We are quite far away, but we can do this. We can tank a little bit of damage as well. Oh, this is going to be so incredibly close. I'm not jumping over that either. That's just going to be unnecessary damage. Let's be smart. Look after the car and it'll look after you. I think I need to scan those things. Oh, look at them. <laughs> Come on. All this twisting nonsense. You know what? I was going to cut that then, but I'll run into some bullshit if I do. Just stay on the road. Use all the traction you can. you got these beautiful new summer tires. They won't let you down. Oh, that's getting really close, though. <gasps> Panic is starting to say, guys, I've lost all composure. <laughs> Let's keep going. Oh, shit. Go, go, go. Come on. Thread the needle. You got this. Round to the left. And then it's a straight shot down if you go past that right turn. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, no. Oh, that's an anomaly there. No. It's down here to the right. Oh, this is definitely going to sting if this catches up. Stay away from these. Should be a straight shot down here now. It's just a straight line. Oh, there's lead there. No. Oh, yeah, I haven't got time. I shouldn't even be messing around with the idea of stopping there. Got to get out. It's too dangerous. I know, Malcolm. I know. We're almost home. Come on. We're okay for fuel. Car's a little bit banged up and bruised, but we can get back to the auto shop and get some, hopefully get some juicy upgrades. What's that over there? For the truck. Yeah, we're all right. Oh, panic over. Okay. When everything just kind of amps up like that. <laughs> it really does create that panic. There we go. Nice and smooth. All right, Oppie. What have you got for us? Nice work out there. The sector stabilizers are fully operational. You've got a straight shot toward the expansion wall. One more thing. You may want to consider armoring up a bit. Once you cross that wall, the mid zone is another beast altogether. Ooh. So we're actually entering into a new area now then, right? Potentially, that's what I guess you could mean. All right, I'm going to spend a couple of minutes. I'm going to break things like this down and just get some extra resources and just heal up and things like that and then i'll bring you guys back once we're looking at upgrading things they 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 that they hey say there's a motel at the center of the zone that still operates as if nothing's happened it checks in guests and offers them cable <laughs> the ice machine kills one person every night night four four help 
What is this? What is going on with this weird fax machine? Who is sending me these messages? I'm still offloading everything, by the way. I'll be back in a second. It's just started beeping at me, so I wanted you guys to see that. Nonsense. <laughs> just having a look at this new dash toy that we have. Absolutely not. No, we're getting Malcolm back. As much as he doesn't like being on camera, I can't not have him on there. What is this color? Is it like a gray? Ooh. Oh, it's paint stripper. So it gets rid of all of the, like, decals. Ooh, what about it just being this, then? Like, just, it kind of looks chrome, but not. Oh, I kind of like that. I mean, having the car painted is easier to find, but you've always got that kind of thing in the top left corner, which is like a GPS, so... I think I might rock this for a little bit. I don't know what it is about it. I, I kind of like it, though. It looks like... It's just recently been welded together, you know? Even though we've not got, like, the armor plating or anything on. I kind of like it. I don't know what it is about that. I kind of like it. I know it doesn't kind of go with the whole theme of, like, the uh, the wheel that we've got on the front with the pizza being yellow and everything, but... Yeah, I think I might keep this for the time being. Right, let's throw that back in there. And... Yeah, we're looking good. I've tried to keep all that organized. It's never going to stay that way. Okay, right. Let's have a look at getting into some upgrades then. Are we looking okay here? And I've offloaded everything out of there. Okay, so we got plenty of stuff in the locker that we can play around with. I'm actually going to move that as well alongside this. And yeah, this one is fairly full as well. In this locker here, we've got like the sheet metal and just extra little bits that we can use. And this one's empty that we can use. So... I said first that I wanted to upgrade the tire. So let's go ahead and get one of these. I hope it's like a... a oh, it is as well. I love a chunky tire. <laughs> I really do. Like, I genuinely mean that. I hate skinny tires on cars. They look stupid. Give me this. Give me that chunky tire. Oh, look how much nicer that looks. I mean, it's hanging outside of the, uh, the arch, but that looks so much better. Just gives it a wider stance, right? Go away with you for a second. Let's get three more made up real quick. Oh, look at them. That's so much nicer. <laughs> to a lot of you guys watching this, you're like, why are you getting excited over that? I don't know what it is about that. It's not that it just makes it look a lot more apocalyptic. I love the stance that that gives the car. Okay, right. Let's have a look at having some more upgrades. What else did I want to get out of this? The relightable flare might not be bad. Some first aid kits. I think we're okay on the uh, tool side. I need to... Yeah, I need to make some upgrades, really, before I do anything else. Matter regenerator. Ingenious limb technology and advanced spectral mechanical acoustics are used to repair car components stored in this station. Ooh! So, like, over time, they'll repair? Oh, I need chemicals. Yeah, that's the one thing that I never have enough of. So I guess we go with the antenna then, right? I don't know if that was a good idea or a bad idea, but we're sticking with our decision right now. This is going to give us more of the zone to explore, so I guess we would have to do it anyway. And I'm interested to see what this looks like, because that thing is massive. And I really don't know if there's a way to switch it to daytime. Like, I don't know if there's a bed anywhere. I'm going to have a look at that next. There we go. Oh, yeah, this is... Oh, it's kind of the same size, but... There's more on it, I think. Yeah. There's more bits. Right, we can just drop down, I think. And what we're actually being asked to do here... Okay, get through the expansion wall, find a way into the wall, and diagnose the car with the, uh, the Tinker Station. That's this. I have no idea how to use this. I'm going to get round to it, though. Let's just see what else we can mess around with. So, engines... I I kind of need to upgrade my engine. I need the extra horsepower, right? Because what we're running right now, is this just a carbureted engine? I think it is. If we get the turbo light engine, let me have a look. Yeah, carbureted engine. So if we get the other engine, that, that might actually help us out, like if we need to get to one of the gateways quicker. Too much horsepower might be too much for me to handle, but I think the jump from 128 horsepower, and it's worse on fuel as well. Yeah, okay, we'll stick with this one for now. Until we get into, I guess, these ones. So what else we got here? The auto parker. Jump jacks. Resource radar. Ooh. 
Yeah, we need to get this, though. Battery stuff. So, what's that? Plasma charger. Modified cattle prod. More humane use. Point this at your battery, too, or and reinvigorate your life. So, what? Does that... That, <laughs> that does something to the car? Like, you <laughs> use it on the car? Yeah, here we go. This is the fuel that we might need. So, we have a, a greater capacity of fuel on board. There's the tires. And I can't... Real okay, we need other things. Scanner spike puddle anomaly. Oh, I drove past those before. That's those purple things, right? Okay, what about that? Liberator? Less precise than a cutting tool, the Liberator will nevertheless cleanly and carefully remove individual sections of a vehicle. Ooh. I'm going to get that. I got a feeling that's going to come in really, really... Oh. Going to come in really, really good. If I find something by the side of the road, like we did before with the armored stuff, and then I can just like for like swap it, right? If it replaces each panel. I think that's what it meant anyway. And can we get into this yet? No. Right, let's make this liberator. So it's actually like a, a weapon then. So you fire it at each of the panels. Okay. We can rock that for a little while. It's actually not taking up that much space either, which is nice. And is there anything else that I want to bring? might go ahead and make some more battery jumpers one more kit one more ceiling kit oh you know what i'm gonna make a couple of those because we got the new tires on so how many of those can we stack yeah this is basically just for like my repair side wait a second wait 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 if i'm gonna upgrade my engine to the next one the turbo light one <laughs> i need 42 thermosap crystals which i think i got from what i was calling the mannequins the taurus the tolerance this artificially grown crystalline substance has for extreme temperatures and sustained stress is extraordinary. It suggests all manner of mechanical applications. I need 40 of them. Okay, looks like I'm taking out some of those tourists then. What about armor though? I need like different lead. So the actual mission for the mid-zone crossing says get through the expansion wall, which I'm guessing is this bit here. And it looks like we have to go through those extreme conditions. So let's take a look. We go this way. Yeah, look at that. It's kind of pointing up there, but that is going to be an actual nightmare getting there. Can we like go from here to here maybe and do a little bit of resource grinding for a couple of hours? Because I kind of need more plasma to make more of this. I guess we can test drive it with that on, but yeah, I think I might need to go back out and get some more plasma, some more extra little bits, and then hopefully that disappears. <laughs> if it doesn't, then I could be in trouble trying to get through that wall, so I guess we'll see. Yeah, it's just a straight shot right the way through. Yeah, we are not hanging around here at all. Just go. <laughs> I don't like this. It's making me nervous. I get the feeling this is like super hot or something. Everything seems okay so far, but that can be really deceiving. Let's turn the lights off. We've got the off-road tires, so we're okay. It's pretty much a straight line to the next gate, so... How bad can it be? <laughs> I was holding back on that, but you already know it's going to be terrible. What's that up there? Oh, it is. There's always time. There's always time for a haul truck. What's it called? I keep getting that name wrong. SNF hauling truck. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. Things are beeping. No. Take it all. Oh yes, get that. Oh, there's so much cool things here. No. Okay, I'm happy we got it. You see that? You see how the car loves me all of a sudden? Okay, so we're still in an extreme condition zone. Ooh, that's actually quite far away from where I want to be. You know what? Let's... Let's take this thing off-road. Try and get a little bit of height. I think she should be able to manage it now because of how we've upgraded it. Oh, come on. We can do this. Come on. No, you're not able to do that? Oh. Okay. I guess I overestimated how <laughs> much these tires actually do. I mean, that is a pretty steep incline, but let's keep it going. You know what? 
Just grab it. It's here. Just grab it. Come on. Quick. Go, 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 go. Unstable anchor. No, 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 no. Oh. Get, no. Oh, get me in. Oh, this is bad. If I can get that other one, I'll be so happy. There it is. I see it. I see it. I'm going to leave the car just outside of the instability here, and then I'll be back in like 30 seconds. Don't die, car. Okay? I'm coming back. I think. So, yeah, these are the unstable ones, and that's what I need. That's what I've been missing. I've been collecting the stable ones. Oh, that's so nice. Come on. Come on. Get in there. Close it. Time to go. Right. That's good. That's really good. We needed that. I do not like the way the front of the car is looking, so let me just fix you up. Got enough for the sides. Activate that. Oh, there's three of them. Oh, no. Come on. Yes. Oh, that was so good that we attached that. Okay. <laughs> Just in case I never told you guys what that thing is. It's called the Limpulse Emitter, and it stops those bunnies attaching to the car. Okay, before we go any further, what are we looking like here? Perpetual stability. Okay. So we're all right in this spot for now. Ooh. It's all that business. Right, let me see what I packed. Got all this stuff, just the tools. Everything's sparkling. Get rid of all this. Okay, we got plenty of stuff for health. Plenty of stuff for the car, too. Should I just... I guess do it? What does that need? Fix. No, and it's just charged. Everything else is okay, right? I don't really need to... I can't make any of the repair putty, though, either. Oh, I can. Okay. Right, let's go ahead and just do some repairs on the fly. So, need to do this on both sides and then possibly a door. I don't know if I'm going to have enough to do that, though. Okay. Towards the wall we go. There's the expansion wall. It separates the outer zone from the mid zone and, more importantly, us from those two idiots. This will get you one step closer to the deep zone. It's far past its prime, so watch your step. The deep zone. Why does that sound so terrifying? <laughs> Wait, do we go straight? Okay, we can go straight on here. We go in? Oh, yeah, we go in. No way! We're actually driving through the pipes. Oh, you can do it. No, 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 you can do it. Wait, 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 wait. Slow down a bit. Can I get out here? Am I going to get killed by the radiation or something? No? Right, before we go any further, I'm just going to grab one of these and... Make sure the car is <laughs> working properly because I saw that warning light pop up. And it made me feel a certain kind of way. So let's put you in there. And what was the other warning light we had? Nothing. We're all right. I think it was just a terrain warning light. Right, let's take it slow. Turn the lights off so we can see. Oh, what is this? Get over there. Oh, this is so creepy in here. What about throwing that on? Oh, look at that. <laughs> Around this way. So we're going to the deep zone now. Let's get some health up in us. All that radiation took its toll. Oh, 
<laughs> I'm half expecting something to happen any second, so... Oh, yeah, there we go. That's that bullshit I'm talking about. <laughs> They're just everywhere. No! Oh, please don't get stuck. I just had to kick the ever-living shit out of it in order for it to work, so... <laughs> right, we go this way, then? Hope these things don't just stand in front of us, because <laughs> then we are in trouble. See, I spoke too soon. They're everywhere here. Let's get over this side. Do not get caught on the tracks. Oh, we're absolutely having that plasma. Stop. We need it. Go. Nice and quick. Perfect. Have a look in the train car. 100%. Oh, listen to that echo. <laughs> oh. Don't do it. Give me all these bits. There's no lockers or anything, right? I can hear you guys. I just don't like using them, okay? Let's leave that in there with him. There you go. Okay. <laughs> Fucking rock. Oh, <laughs> this is really nerve-wracking, this section. Let's just keep it moving. I see the gate up there, but... I'm hoping this is the way out, because look at that. It's like the support beams that we're going towards now, and it's all crumbling down. It's got to be this way. I know, I know. You can handle it. You're fine. <laughs> it's a good thing that I put that light on the side there. <laughs> Couldn't imagine doing this. Legit, like, I know a lot of this is pretty far-fetched. Well, I say that. Anything could happen. Just a mega structure that we're driving through right now. And there's no way out. This way? Nope. What about this? Do we go along the train tracks? I think we might have to, you know. Is this how we get out of this place? Follow these tracks this way and outwards. There we go. Oh. <laughs> come on, Alfie, come in. I felt a little bit claustrophobic there, which is weird because that was so open inside. The Myers mid zone. <laughs> Hello, friend. Welcome to our side of the wall. Oh, what's this? Your connection to Wabi is jam. Uh, oh, worry not. Our signal is crystal clear. A little bit obvious, don't you think? <laughs> right, ask me if I care. And the mid zone's been marinated in all this radiation for so long. Things don't work the same as they do in the outer zone. But the good news is. We live here. We can help you. No sweat. Nice. Uh, first things first. We've got to extend the signal from the garage. Otherwise, Avi's equipment won't be much help. Hooking you into a mid-zone stabilizer should do the trick. Look around. You should be able to see one up a hill somewhere. Okay, first things first. Things don't work the same as the outer zone. So what? I'm going to experience all new anomalies and things now like this? What is that? Salamander Grotto. No idea. <laughs> what is all this business? There's so much more to learn. And I was only just getting used to that other stuff too. I've got so many questions as well. Is there a way back? Can we go back to the auto shop now? Or is it even going to take us there? Orb. A giant orb. I mean, this is a really cool part of the zone, but... Got more lead there as well. What is that? What are you? Come here, let me scan you real quick. A shaggy scrambler. I love shaggy scramblers. <laughs> Let's get back to the car. I'm losing my mind. <laughs> Whoa! Oh my god, what's that? It's grabbed hold of me and spun me around. Look, my wipers aren't working now. 
What is this place doing to my car? Yeah, we really need to know if we can get back to the auto shop or if we're kind of stuck here. We have to work our way back through that wall section in order to, to get back. We gotta get this thing started. All right, come on. Go, go, go. Turn it on. Okay, a stabilizer in section D is online. Coming through loud and clear. Hey, Francis, pan the car's broadcast frequency to the stabilizer, would you? Hey, come on, I can't do this without you. Fine. There. Your receiver's hooked in now. And we're patched into all that sweet arc device data. <laughs> nice work. Obvi won't be able to block us out anymore. Well, better get going. Here it comes. Wait, have we really got to go? I don't want to. <laughs> There's stuff that I want to try and find. Oh, that thing is moving quick. Come on, get over there. Can I cut through? I'm going to have to. Go. Go, go, go. We're going off road. I don't have time to take that road all the way around. Straight as the crow flies. That's where we're going. Oh, look at these. Oh, easy does. We are truly off-road now. This is the biggest test so far for the car since we've made those upgrades. Oh. <laughs> and there it is. The zone is about to go nuts. Come on, come on. Do we do the ramp? Of course we take the ramp. Oh yeah, look at that. Style points. Please don't get stuck. Please don't get stuck. Nice. Come on. Oh, this is gonna be close. I really, really wanted to look around this area too. I'm a little bit upset about that. Come on, carry that speed. No, now is not the time. I think we're going to be okay. Through this last little bit. Oh my god. Through this last little section. Oh no, don't you dare. Oh no! Let me go! No! What? What is that? Come on, <laughs> get through, <gasps> please. There we go. Okay, so we are back. I know, I know, calm down. I'm not doing that. <laughs> the car's freaking wow. out. Hoppy was hiding a magic teleporter? We could have been beaming all over the zone this whole time? <laughs> Hoppy, what's happened? And don't worry, I'll restore her connection once you do us a little favor. We suspect Oppie's hiding a copy of Otis' database in that auto shop of hers. Find it, and we can get back to this remnant business. Oh, okay. A little favor. Hold on, what's this say first? I have no idea what that says. If anybody can understand this, All right. I don't know what it says. I've identified the electrical circuit for the garage's security system. And there's an auto security lock in that circuit. So once I do this... Yeah, bingo! That security lock's powered on now. We try that overload code from the observation towers. 4735. I don't think boy, that oh works. Boy, look at all these gizmos in here! Arpy wasn't operating no normal auto shop. A fabrication station. Wait. Oh, her personal vault? I bet there's some good stuff in there. I I'm uncomfortable intruding like this. Uh, can, can you not? Hold the phone. There's a machine that prints bobbleheads? <laughs> what? <laughs> Show me. <laughs> I want a bobblehead printing machine. I thought he was talking about this room back here, but maybe not. Hold on. Oh, there we go. Okay, work this time. Driver, something you should know about that database? When Arda's funding began to dry up, they handed us our final paycheck with one hand and the same day evacuation orders with the other. Oppie was a higher up, though more entitled than an actual power by that time. 
she would have known about Arda's plan to close up shop and had enough time to download all the research data before losing access. That data could contain what we need to help you. Okay, I'm going to be completely honest. I have no idea if I've just actually done that by pre pressing all the buttons. It's just me and my stupid ways. I have to press stuff. But I think it worked. Because we got a hard drive now and an arc dock. Oh, you did it. Hey, you actually did it. Oh, oh boy, Audi, I cannot wait to dig through all this data. Okay. As promised, I'll fix Hoppy's connection. Do you read me? Come in. Do you read me? Loud and clear, you old bat. <laughs> wow. I see. The comms clear up suddenly, and I find you two patched into the garage frequency. <laughs> it all makes sense now. No idea what you're talking about. So, Hoppy, what's the, uh, what's the plan? You must have some grand scheme, don't you? Let me get this straight. You hijacked my mission, tapped into my frequency, and now you want to be all buddy-buddy. Not on your life. Aww. You think you're hot stuff. Why don't you take the lead, then? Get the driver through all by your damn selves. Did she just hang up on us? Well, guess it's our time to shine. <laughs> so, uh, Francis, you got any ideas? We know the driver needs to get to the deep zone, but it's too dangerous to head there directly. We have to zero in on exactly where to go. The signal amplification trick won't work here. The ambient instability is too strong in the mid zone. Huh, how indeed. Um, there was one other time where the mass hallucination and the remnants intersected. Driver, I've tagged a route for you. Whenever you're ready, give it a spin. I think I've just used all my chemicals that I needed, but I don't care because the car needed fixing anyway. Okay, let's just do one of these. Okay, I can get the car storage though, which is 100% something that I need to do. So let's grab that and open you and in there. So, oh, there we go. Oh, that's so much nicer. Oh, that's so much nicer. Hold on. Can we upgrade that again? So if we go to this one, no, this one. Augmented trunk storage. Wait. So wait, we can send things straight back here or am I misinterpreting that? I think I might be. We need some corrupted energy and... Oh no, I don't need unstable energy. I've got that. I just need the advanced workbench, which I think I need the chemicals for. Yeah, okay. So chemicals are the thing that I need to hold on to now above everything else. Wait. Carbon fiber or fiberglass synthesized into a new material with remarkably high resistance to both heat and chemicals. Good for those who don't enjoy being dissolved. I wonder what that takes to make that, though. I am going to unlock that because that's probably going to be huge for us further down the line. Let's learn that. And what else was it? It was limb chip. Okay, so with this one, we need the advanced workbench and more corrupted energy. Do I get that? Oh, 100% I'm getting that. That's another upgrade for the scrapper. Yeah, okay. We can turn that into an actual tool now. That'd be amazing as well. What's this? Magnetic hammer. Can't get that yet. Headlights. Panels, lead panel. Ooh, anti-corrosive panel. Even the most dependable metals can be vulnerable to the corrosive effects of acid. Mitigate that with the chemical resistant coating reactive alkaline sprinklers. Wait, so it sprinkles alkaline like into the actual panel? If this was such a huge upgrade, I can't imagine what the all terrain tire is going to be like. What's that one? Puncture. Oh, puncture proof tire. Well, that's not going to be all terrain though, right? So that'd be pretty bad off road. Paddle tire. Make your vehicle. All but amphibious with the almost skid-free solution. As a bonus, this wheel also works well in muddy conditions. So I'm guessing the further we go into the exclusion zone, then we're going to need stuff like this. Power grip tires. There's still so much for us to get. I can't guarantee I'm going to get all of this, guys. I will try, but I don't know how much more of the story we've got. Something tells me we're about getting close to about halfway now. But I don't know. We're going to head back out, though. So I'll see you guys in a second. Hey, driver. Sorry about all that mess with Oppie. Th th there's no question. Oppie is a, is a, a once-in-a-generation genius. 
I I've watched her manipulate wavelengths with nanometer precision without batting an eye. <laughs> so, yeah, to see her go from being the sharpest person in the room to what she is now is... What? Disappointing. This place, it leeches away your sanity day by day. So for, for Oppie to live here in complete isolation, locked away with only bad memories and expired medication, nothing good comes of that. I'd feel a hell of a lot better if I knew why she suddenly cares so much about the remnants. Speaking of Oppie, you're not gonna like this, Francis, but I'm starting to think we can't do this alone. Look, it, it's not that I doubt our abilities, but no one knows the zone like that old man. But you heard what she said. She'll sabotage this remnant before helping us. Right. Well, she'll come around to our charms. No, she won't. Nothing in the 13 years we spent in R&D proof that she's open to working with anyone. She dug her heels in so deep that she wrestled everyone down into the grave with her. I... I can't be involved if she is. That's so sad how they're not getting along. Talking about this is the entire reason we stayed behind to write the record of the zone. Not about the experiments and the technology, but to tell the legends of the land. I don't want anything to do with her. I, I don't want to talk to her. I, I don't want her advice. I, I, I don't want to hear her goddamn voice. This isn't like you. What's going on, Francis? Is there something I should know? No. <sighs> All your work and live R and T. All the time you spent, your entire career, your entire life. You sacrificed it all for honor, and how did they take it? A black hole in your resume, when you can't tell anyone what you did. You couldn't even tell people where you wiped your ass for ten years. So no, I I'm not letting this go. Not for me, but especially not for you. That, 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 that's not... Never mind. You know, sometimes I wonder... How much of you staying here was actually to hunt these legends? Or if it was because you had nowhere else to go? Oh, wow! Okay, this thing is incredible. Okay, yeah, it wasn't kidding with that description. <laughs> okay, wait, what's this then? Oh, there's things in the back of them! Oh, give me all the bits. And what was that I found there? Thermosap crystal. Oh, I wish I'd have known that before. All right, let's go. The Myers mid zone. Oh, yeah, look how different this looks. So, where are we coming in from? We're over this side. Let's go over there to the right. See if we can grab one of those anchors. See what happens with that. Let's get the wipers back on. The fuel gauge is still doing that stupid thing with the wipers, too. I'm going to have to work out what's wrong with that. Maybe we can diagnose it with the uh, the tool that we've got back at the auto shop. Let's do a right here. Oh, it's that really strong wind. Oh, boy. Come on. It's so loud, too. I'm just following this road all the way around. Try not to hit the giant containers. There you go. So you can jump that too, and then you've got like that thing that propels you into the air. Kind of gives you that <laughs> that floating feeling. Okay, it looks like there's a tunnel coming up, but I don't want to take that. I want to just keep going round to the left on the road. Just got to get to the gate. I can't imagine how stressful it is <laughs> when... Oh, I had to open my mouth. I've done it again. I was just about to say, I can't imagine how stressful it is when the zone's coming in here and things go wrong. We're on track, though. As long as we get around that middle section, we should be okay. I'm not stopping for anything, guys. There's no way. There's so many things that I want to scan and have a look at, but I know if I do that, something bad is going to happen. All right, let's just go through this. Oh! Oh, that's so bad. Look at it coming through all like the, the holes in the car. That's so cool looking though. You're all right. We can fix this. Or I can fix this, I promise. Yeah, I'm not going that way. What? Come on this way. No. Nope. Is that the acid, I wonder? I'm not going over that because that's going to slam the car. 
There we go. No, I missed that. <gasps> Please. Oh, yeah, that was a heavy hit. <sighs> I don't think I can make any repair putty either. <laughs> He's got to be so careful through this. It's quite a long way to go to get around to that gate. So you can't really get close to them either because he still counts as... Oh! He still counts as hitting them. This is brutal. That thing sticks on me. I'm going to lose my mind. You can see that's... You can see the zone coming in too. It's making everything way more stressful. Go around this thing. Don't let that acid flow into the car. There we go. We're starting to turn now. Got a bit of a spike, and this is where it peaks. Just stay on that throttle. Do not lift off. Keep it going. The tires will get us there. There's the gate. I see it. Oh, breathe a little easier. <laughs> I do not like this part of the zone. This is terrifying. You're just going to lose everything we've worked for. And... There. Come on, Tobias. Come in. So we told you about the man's hallucination. Hundreds of people, 30 seconds of crazy, yada yada. But there was one instance where that event and the remnants intersected. The story of Laura Cesari. Laura worked at Arda as an executive secretary. She put in her hours, but she spent her evenings with a real passion. Painting. When the hallucination event swept through, Laura was overtaken like everyone else. But for her, the visions didn't stop. She tried painting them, but grew frustrated at her inability to recreate what she saw. Now at first, Arda wrote her off as one of the many whose brains got scrambled by what they saw. Until Laura stumbled across a rusty can of paint in the woods. It was a remnant. Once she started using this paint, the visions in her paintings began to come true. Oh, that's so she cool. She painted feverishly for over a year, chasing the visions the entire time. Until the day the paint ran empty. And then she disappeared. Like all remnant holders do. Now that we know the remnants in the mass hallucination are related, maybe Laura's visions can help us out. Well, that's not going to happen to me though, right? I'm not just going to disappear. The car's not going to take me some unknown realm. I feel like I'm in a constant fight here now, looking for fuel and looking for chemicals to keep on top of the car. We're not doing bad right now. I know it looks pretty bleak. This is where your theory comes in, Francis. Uh, you tell him. Oh, Tim, look at me babbling away. Francis, you, you explain it. it. It's so good. No, it's just... Uh, I'd rather not. Come on, we talked about this. You should be proud of your work. Toot your own horn. Yeah. I, 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 not this time. Okay, well, uh, Francis' theory, his entire branch of research was that the zone exhibits a property seen nowhere else on Earth. Every phenomena that occurs here leaves its fingerprint forever on the physical space. So he created this device to pick up on these uh, sub-physical after effects. How did you explain it? Uh, it was like identifying a whale's favorite color using only the wake it leaves behind. Uh, the rest was science mumbo-jumbo. It's a form of electromagnetic imprint. Anyway, it was a long time ago. <laughs> and what a better time than now to try it again. Oh, that does work. Yes. Oh, yes. So at least I can combat that. Right. Hold on. Put the car there. Turn everything off. Oh, don't you dare. No. No, no, no. Back up. Back. Back. No. I hate those things. Anything that grabs my vehicle deserves to a slow and painful death. There we go. Just up here to the right. This thing? It's got to be this. Thank you. 
The great pile up. <laughs> you know, if you catch the mural at the right angle, when the moon is right overhead, you can spot the helmsman's body in one of the boats. No chance. It's a paint smudge. Nothing more. Believe me, it's true. I've seen it. Let's go get the next one. Hey, uh, is it just me or did this mural look different before? Probably the instability messing with the paint over time. It's been decades after all. Uh, something's... something's definitely off. Hey, uh, where's our old notes from when we took a field trip out that way? Uh, driver, why don't you go ahead to the next one while we investigate this? Working on it! <laughs> it's honestly such a constant battle to try and keep on top of this thing. Come on. Charge her up. There you go. Right, let's just get out this area. <laughs> this is wild. Over to the next mural. Which I'm hoping is the Sasquatch one because this one is pretty far out of the way. Where's the mural? Where is it? There it is. I see it. Come on. <laughs> what is that? Ah, the Bigfoot mural. <laughs> My personal favorite. That's a Bigfoot? <laughs> I mean, okay. Oh, did, you, did you see that, Francis? Oh, boy, oh, boy, Francis, look, look, look. Uh, look here. It's different from our sketch when we visited in 82. Uh, it's all scrambled, but the shape seems familiar. If you, if you tilt your head, doesn't that kind of look like Mount Olympus? Oh, Francis, you flippin' genius. It absolutely is. Wait, 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 wait. Let's look back at the first one. What's different there? right there. Is that Hook Valley? Holy smokes. Oh, wait, pull up all the topographical maps of the peninsula. If we look around the areas where you'd get that view of Mount Olympus. St. Francis, I told you your basilizer would work. I, I don't think this is the basilizer's doing. Driver, we're on to something. Get to that third vision. Roger that. Just filling up with a little bit of gas. I saw that armored car. I don't know if I'm going to take the door for this one. Actually, you know what? I'm going to take the door off the back, and then we're going to play this. Uh, a driver, if you come across a mushroom like the one in the mural, do not eat it. No, no matter how tasty it might look. <laughs> You're speaking from personal experience. And let me tell you, it wasn't pretty. Oh, just thinking about it makes me want to puke all over again. You've probably passed the biogenerators by now. They're our source of power in the mid-zone, and one of the best demonstrations of renewable limb tech. Yes, these battery farms keep our lights on, but more importantly, they're also the only place in the entire zone where anomalized mushrooms grow. And guess who turned out to be the world's biggest fan of those mushrooms? Bigfoot itself! And the vision foretold its arrival in the zone. <laughs> it started what? when those pods hanging from the battery farms were found chewed up. At first, they blamed it on the local wildlife. This was back when we used to have some. And then, the sightings of ten-foot-tall creatures started that didn't attract them much attention on their own. Not until the first footprints were found. The Olympic Peninsula has always had a collection of Bigfoot sightings. But... They were rare until Bigfoot had its first taste of the anomalized mushrooms. Then it couldn't stay away. And that's when the Squatches came knocking. They jumped the wall, set up camp, and they got to investigate. Once they learned of the Sasquatch's appetite for these mushrooms, they cultivated <laughs> entire farms of the stuff. For months, they propagated mushrooms and set traps. <laughs> and for months, evidence mounted that Sasquatch was making its rounds and evading those traps. Until one night, the experts disappeared. Bigfoot got them, no question. Oh, come on, no Only question. At once. How is that possible? Never get in the way of a hungry Sasquatch. That's true. I know from experience. <laughs> so about that last vision. Right, we're at the last one. Beware the doorway. We got a storm that's kicked in. The inverting doorway. 
What do you want me to do? Get to a gateway. Oh, bingo! See that pattern in the last one? Uh, that flower only goes up uh, a certain elevation. And then put the three locations together, and then you cut a square mile in the northeast corner of the deep zone. Huh. The visions were pointing towards something the entire time. <laughs> hey, Alfie. You can stop pretending to ignore us now. Take a look at this fine work. We've picked down the location for the source of the mass hallucination. That's where the driver needs to go. Well, what do you know? Well, I knew the basilizer worked. What did I tell you, huh? He still doesn't know, Francis. You know what? Not me. Not my story to share. Wait, what? What am I supposed to know that I don't know, Francis? All right, let's get through this gateway. My theory, and that basilizer there, uh, it was... That one was tough. Interesting thing about that deep zone area you identified. I ran every coordinate in that area through the auto database, and what turns up? But access logs. With entry records for Dr. K up through March 1963. What? No, the doctor died in 1961, in the lab accident. So we were told. Then, I found access logs for both that deep zone site and Red Meadow. Years and years worth of activity. The Red Meadow Research Facility? But it was demolished the same year. After the structural damage caused by the... Uh, they lied about that too, didn't they? It appears so. The driver should give the Red Meadow Ruins a visit. If Red Dr. Meadow King Ruins. Day, I'd like to know what was keeping him so busy. So would I, but... Do we have time for this? We don't know how long the driver's got with that remnant. And that's why we need this information. Whatever Dr. K was doing relates to all of this. It may be the key to what lies at the end of the road for the driver. I... Uh, agree with you? God, I hate saying that. <laughs> driver, I've marked the Red Meadow facility on your route planner. Head there whenever you're ready. Okay. So, looks like we're going to the place called Red Meadow Research Facility. Right, before we do that, I am kind of in desperate need of repairs for the car so <laughs> let me work on this real quick so we got that side panel i've got to put another one on here so we lost one of our insulated panels which breaks my heart a little bit but we were able to continue and get everything we needed so i guess that's a plus and that's what the car's here to do all right you know what let's get the camouflage on the back too there we go now she's feeling a bit more complete She's looking a bit worse for wear, but she's still feeling a bit more complete. Right. What do we need to make some insulated panels? Do we have everything? I got quite a lot of plasma on the last few runs, so let's get that one back on there. And are we running low on anything? Steel sheet. We can definitely make those. Should have a lot to be able to play with with that. There we go. Insulated panel number two, which can go here. Please don't <laughs> make me glitch into a new dimension. Just drop you there for a second. Can get some of the uh, resources back. Nice. So the car is becoming a bit more complete now too. Throw you into there. Okay, so I've just unlocked the hydro generator in hopes that when it rains... <laughs> We can... Oh, I need a little bit more copper. Okay, that's not a problem. But I'm hoping that when it rains, we can recover some energy back that way. Because constantly making the battery jumpers, it's costing me quite a lot. So, yeah, side battery as well, maybe. I think we're going to need copper again, though, right? We need chemicals. All right, let's see. So, we're up here now. That's another nine-hour journey that way. And considering I kind of need to do a little bit of looting, I may as well make my way there and then do an all-round trip. So I think that's what we're going to do. I'm kind of going to go through E5, E2, and then up 
in that direction. Hopefully missing all of this business. <laughs> if we can. The weather has been so bad over these last couple of missions. It's insane. Oh, look at that fuel. <laughs> it's never running out. Right, let's go. You know, I, I, I remember Red Metal like it was yesterday. You up to your eyeballs and paperwork. Francis coated in chalk dust from the Black Horse. You mistaking my lab notes for a trash pile and throwing away weeks of work. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It'd be nice to see it again. They bulldoze that facility to the ground. There's nothing left to reminisce about. Is that where we're going to? A massive facility that's been bulldozed? That'd be cool to see. Did you ever regret all this? From the very second I heard your voice coming through my speakers. <laughs> I, I mean, everything that happened. Handing over Lynn. The way the project ended. It, it cost you hell. And, you know, your career. The entire damn Olympic Peninsula. Which is still here. So are you. You chose your urban legends over everything else. You wonder if I regret it. Oh, I have no interest in regret. I want to know if you ever felt that leaving was a real option. After everything I've seen and heard and felt here? No. Not a chance. Then we have that in common. This place is also <laughs> enormous. How's Francis? He's, um, he hasn't left the bedroom. I'm sorry. You didn't know about his demotion. It wasn't my secret to tell. It's fine. This is between him and, and me. So, uh, what, 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 what did Alan tell you about his work? He was second in command of Dr. K's lab, after all. Alan didn't discuss his work with me. Nor did I share mine with him. Wait, you were head of the whole stinking department. You, you must have known something about what their lab was doing. Uh, if there was anything useful to be found, I'd have sussed it out already. Well, that's all I did after the accident. Try and fail to find any answers. Store that in there for now. Turn these off. Dr. K's access records were coded to the lab that used to be here. I'm feeling less optimistic by the second. Not a scour this place clean. Uh, something's here. We just can't see it. Oh, following a hunch. <laughs> Not your usual M.O., Oppie. No, but being suspicious of Arda is. Okay. Before we go any further, we're fixing this battery. <laughs> I'm not having my headlights cut out while I'm in this place. But which way do we need to go? Explore Dr. K's lab, so we just got to... Drive around, I guess. We'll try the right side if nothing's here, which it doesn't look like it. Whole bunch of rocks that have collapsed in. Nothing there, right? Yeah, no, not by the looks of it. Nothing down here. Oh, no. Thought we'd found like a secret tunnel or something. Ooh. This has got to be it. Follow the access tunnel. Whoa, driver, hang on. Wait, where, where are you going? There should have been the end of the facility. According to the blueprints, anyway. What's that sound? What is that sound? I don't know what's happening. Get back in that car right now and just go. Which way we gotta go? This way? Out there?
Security protocol activated. Scan artist security credentials immediately. Uh. Guys, <laughs> what do you want me to do? Well, well. After all these years, an honor still has something to hide. <laughs> We're definitely onto something now. Driver, anything you find down there, scan and transmit it back to us. We'll work on disengaging the security protocol. You'll work on it, will ya? <laughs> what is this? Experiment data? Ada Phenomena Report. Okay, what is that? I need to know what this okay, is. Okay, here's something. This thing in the deep zone, they called it the well. Oh, fantastic. Tobias, run those reports through the decryptor and see what you could find. The well. I'm gonna find a whole bunch of crap that I'm not supposed to know about down here, right? And it's gonna be some kind of security protocol that is going to destroy me if I don't get out in like T minus 30 seconds or something. I don't have the speed for that, okay? Don't put me through that stress, please. Yeah, this said. What did he say again? Property of Arda, highly classified, classified Arda research material found inside the Red Meadow facility. Okay, so we're not really finding anything else about it. It's just extra other stuff that I found. The one thing that they've done really, really well in this is just giving you a sense of scale, how massive these places are. Like, we went through the wall, we went through the different zones, through this area. Eric, listen to that too. All the way to this area, and look at that. That structure in the middle is just massive. And it's still active too, whatever it is. Can I go in this? Don't think there's a way up there, so we gotta find a way around, maybe. Got ourselves another one. This is a decrypted record of the accident. Poppy, are you sure you want to hear this? I, it's got details about Helen's final moments. It's been over 30 years. I'm past ready. Go on, driver. Keep snooping and see what else you can find. It's a little bit heartbreaking. She's about to hear what happened to Alan. Or I guess not hear what happened to him, because I guess she knows, but his final moments. There's some stairs there as well. That's how we get up. Yeah, look at this. There's another one. I think that might actually be the last one. Alan's lab notes. Maybe my late husband sent us something useful from the grave after all. And you're all clear. Give us a moment and we'll let you know what we found in all this data. You can make your way back to the auto shop after you're done scouring the place. And driver? Thank you. You're welcome, Oppie. That's sad. My heart breaks a little bit for her there. Alright. Let's try and find a way out of this. My tools are breaking down. My car needs fixing. I need to find a whole bunch of stuff. <laughs> Let's get back to the auto shop. See what we can do. It's got to be through here, right? Has to be. There we go. We're back outside. <laughs> right into a storm, of course. You've got that accident record ready, Tobias. It's time. Okay, then. September 14, 1961. Arda's finalized report on what happened that night. Dr. K and Alan were testing the activation potential of lab-created remnants. That night was a run-of-the-mill remnant test. Nothing out of the ordinary. The remnant in question was a tungsten cube. At 3.23 a.m., the cube was brought towards the well. And the well reacted at nominal levels. However, at the 500 meter distance, the cube was sucked into the well and triggered the gamma ray surge. The energy output continued ramping up and at 15 seconds showed no signs of stopping. Then, a Alan. Go on. I can handle it. Dr. K testified that Alan engaged the suppression protocol, then the kill switch, both of which failed. Dr. K ordered Alan to get to safety, but Alan... Alan insisted on staying at the controls. 
Only when he flipped the radiation polarity did the energy output plateau and collapse back into itself. Oh no. Talon's gamma radiation exposure was fatal due to his proximity to the well. If it weren't for him, the entire zone might have gone under. That's who Alan was. The hero. Loyal until the very end. I'm sorry, Oppie. I'd expect nothing less from him. I wonder if Francis had anything to do with them because he's been so quiet. You know? Maybe I'm jumping with that, but it feels like it's that way. Once that car gets to the well, we can expect another gamma ray eruption. We'll need a way to cut it off. And I may have found the answer at Alan's lab notes. His work on that suppression technique is... was... Aww. Top notch. What's interesting is Dr. K and Alan didn't know any more than we do now. They had no conclusions about what the well is. Or what the remnants did. Or how they interacted with this well. Maybe they're labels that scoop out a metered amount of gamma radiation. Maybe they trigger an eruption that we can't stop and will destroy the zone if we get it too close. That's a hell of a range. What are we going to do? We keep going. Uh, but if it's an eruption... I already sacrificed the Olympic Peninsula once for the tech. How many chances for total and utter fallout does a gal get in her life, huh? <laughs> in another life, we would have made a fantastic team. In no universe would I not have murdered you in your sleep. <laughs> nah, you would have made a great team. You're just being cold, Op, because you think that's your character by now. I love, like, the whole urban legend kind of character, Tobias. That's 100% me, by the way. <laughs> back home didn't do too bad on getting some unstable energy there now either we go into the deep zone easy peasy except for the issue of the old wall right yeah that uh, you got some genius idea up your sleeve huh is that how you think it works that scientists conjure up genius at will well yeah do you <laughs> well in this case i do but don't expect it to work like that every time Driver, the quarantine checkpoints will be the best way through the old wall, but they're death traps in their own right. But I designed something to help. Check out the blueprints I sent over. Oppie, all of this has been a death trap. What are you talking about? None of this has been safe. None of it. Right, let's see what this message says. <laughs> Holy shiv, I thought this was a shredder. I've been faxing everything we're supposed to destroy. Holy good. <laughs> what is this? Right, let's see. Pick up blueprint from Oppie's Numa tube. Oh, this thing. There we go. What have we got? A limb shield. The old anomalies took up residence in the crossing points. It's not enough to have a shield. The shield itself needs to be shielded. The energy drain on that shield is massive. It won't last you more than five seconds. Yes, and? You'll need to recharge on the go, but the deep zone's grid is completely dark. You know, what if we could reroute our power into the deep zone? But we'd need to jumpstart the network somehow. That car is basically the world's most overpowered electromagnet on wheels. The driver induces a current, then you open the electrical floodgates. They'd have to induce the current the entire way through the old wall while making the crossing and maintaining speed. I don't know what to tell you. If you don't believe the driver and that car's got what it takes by now, then go back to hunting ghosts. Yeah. We've got a job to do here. We've got a job to do, this Francis. This could work. Are you in, Francis? I, I, I don't know. Look, we have a real chance of losing everything at the old wall. <laughs> I'd like to not fail this far along. How can we know this will work? We don't. That's how science works. We form a theory, and we test it, and we fail, and fail, and fail, and only sometimes do we succeed. Come on, Francis. Please? Fine. I'll do it. <laughs> All right. The team is assembled. Driver, get on with building that limb shield. We'll work on spinning up the power grid in the meantime. No. I don't think I will, actually, Ope. I'm going to do something I need to do first, okay? <laughs> I'm going to get some... What was it I needed? Chemicals? Because it's about time we got the matter regenerator and then the advanced workbench. So, 
I only need four chemicals, which should be a quick trip into the zone. <laughs> See, I say that. It definitely won't be, but I'm going to get that done. I'll be back with you guys in just a second. Somebody said to me that you can break this toilet down for plastic. That was a complete lie. <laughs> you can't break it down. Not even with this amazing tool, which I love. Something about that blue when it's cutting something like a knife through butter. Oh, it's so satisfying. So, <laughs> here's the thing. When I last spoke to you guys, it was 9.15 p.m. And we'd put a few hours into the game and I've been having a blast. But the grind is real in Pacific Drive. Like, I'm sure you can see. A whole bunch of stuff's changed. I've got lead-plated panels now. Just because, like I told you guys, I had a bit of a fascination with lead. And I thought, why not upgrade as much as we can if we're going into the zone? By the way, if you are new to Pacific Drive, get this thing as soon as you can. The resource radar. It saves you so much time. Other than that, I think you guys have seen everything. I've got like another turbine battery on the side just to try and replenish my battery. But I am really sapping through a lot of electrical stuff on this. Now, look at my headlights too. Got the insulated ones. So they've got like a little protected thing on the front. And other than that, I don't think I upgraded the wheels. No, still on the off-road tire. But other than that, I think you guys are all caught up. Oh, no, no, no. I didn't show you guys this. There is some kind of weird running joke. <laughs> there is some kind of weird running joke in the game with tardigrades. Look, <laughs> got a little cowboy tardigrade. <laughs> it's Anomaly 626. I don't understand it at all, but I'm super here for it. I did replace Mischievous Malcolm, but I don't know. I like this little guy, a little rootin' tootin' tardigrade. <laughs> okay, so when I left you guys, it was 9.15. It is now 3.15 a.m. <laughs> I mean, you can probably see why. I've been grinding stuff. I've built a whole bunch of useless shit, which I haven't messed around with yet. Let me try it. So pick this up and we're going to get this on the first shot. No. Try again. Oh, you piece of shit. Oh, yes! That's it. Oh, I fully expected there to be like some kind of Easter egg where like all lights and stuff start flickering. That's it. I get like a confetti sprinkle. Wait, let me try it for a minute. You know what? I'm not going to hit this now for like another 20 minutes. Hold on. Oh, don't do this. No. There we go. That's it. I would if I could. Oh, hold on a second. You know what? Of course it can't. Stupid thing. Go away. <laughs> okay, let's take a look at what we can make then. So we've got experimental charging station. We can't make that yet. The number three advanced antenna. We can't make that. What is a limb magnet? I've not seen that yet. We've got the junction restabilizer. Investigator module. That could be a good one if you're having issues with your car. Expanded matter regenerator. So that just gives you more items back and stuff. That might not be a bad one. That though, getting the marsh eggs, <laughs> that might be a pain. Also, if you do find the pearls, which I had stored in here, you would have seen earlier. If you do find them, make sure you put them into this and you get like a load of stuff out of them as well. Also, if you are struggling for chemicals, I realized that once I was kind of tidying everything up, when I was getting rid of a lot of the, uh, the paint cans and just organizing the colors that I wanted to keep, when you get rid of them into the matter regenerator, you actually get quite a lot of chemicals back if you are struggling to find them. The last thing in which pretty much took me the majority of the time is the thermosap crystals. <laughs> you guys have no idea how hard they were to find. Basically, I started out by breaking down the vehicles at the side of the road that had like armor plates and things on. And then I did try the, uh, you know, the mannequins or the tourist thing. I did try exploding them, but I didn't really get anything back from them. So 
I went back to the facility that we were just at before I left you guys. And there was like these big red balloon things in the middle of like the old broken down facility. And once you break them up with this, you'll find them. I'm not entirely sure. I think they're called sap compensators or sap compression units or something like that. If you do find them, that's where you'll get a lot of the, uh, the thermal sap from. And that's pretty much how I've got everything. Now, again, before I left you guys, we were making the... What was the actual item called? I think I put it through here. It was one of these, right? Yeah, the limb shield. This is what I needed to make. I did go ahead and make that. But then I also went ahead and got enough of the thermal sap crystals so I can make other things that I needed for that too. So, fingers crossed... I've done enough grinding, I hope, for like six hours. And if we're not successful, hopefully we have everything again to give it a second go. One more thing as well, because I know in the first episode I was talking about it a lot. You guys were mentioning after that first episode to use flares. I didn't like using them. So I had a look and I found that you can get this relightable flare. It's essentially like a little torch. So when you turn it on, you get this. I've got a couple of extra things for fuel actually stored away as well let's have a look so i got some extra tools here i've got a large fuel can if we need it what else did i pack extra trunk space and this is just the extras to fix the vehicle up where did i put the other stuff oh here it is okay so i got the side fuel tank and i also got the fuel synthesizer and these as well just as spares i wanted to see how these were but i've not really had a reason to use them yet i think that's everything else oh no i made this too the auto parker so essentially what this does when you get out of the vehicle, instead of constantly looking down and then putting the thing into park and then getting out, all you gotta do is open your door now. So it takes it out of park and then obviously you're ready to go. So the last thing that I haven't told you guys is the further into the exclusion zone you go, the wackier that the anomalies are. And there's one really frustrating one that steals things off the car. And I mean that, like it will just fly past, you know those like, pink jelly things that we ran up against that was sticking to the vehicle. It's like them on steroids. They'll go past the vehicle and then they'll stick to like a panel or they'll stick to this, the mini turbine, and they'll just yoink that shit clean off the side of it. And then you have to stop and, and go after them because they just take off. So <laughs> it is a pain. I've been literally doing that as well for like the past six hours. So, okay, we're going to make sure we've got everything and then we're going to continue this adventure. And this basically shows <laughs> where I've been. Now, a good trick is if you are trying to grind for things like resources and stuff, try and stay on the outer edges around here as much as you can, or at least use the time available, because I know you can't stay in certain areas long, and it is a little bit frustrating that you can't do that, but if you can maximize the amount of time you're in these areas for, and you're collecting stuff, it's so much worthwhile, because as soon as you go past these areas around here, or even further, it's a whole different ball game. And this is where we've got to get to next, so let's get to it. Hold on. Oh, so when I open one door, the other one opens the other side too. And then the car jerked forward when I pressed the radio on. Right, let's have a look at this. So if radio... Toggles, car jolts forward. What about that? Okay, so that's it. Correct diagnosis. But to me, that was the radio switches on. I don't know. Maybe toggling it means turning it on. Maybe it's just like specific to what it has to be. Okay, so fixes. Here's what you'll need to fix this. A mechanics kit. Missing ingredients. Oh, wait. So I get to use that now then. So... I'm actually going to make a, an all new one for this because I've planned everything that I'm taking in the car. So I have to do that again then. So radio, toggles, car, jolts forward. So everything's working there. And then we go to fixes. Toggle, select, quick fix. Yes. Oh, that's so nice when you get that working. Okay, so car jolts forward and radio toggles fixed. So rather than having a mind of its own, that's going to be fixed now. So we still have one more fix to do, which is when I open this door, that door opens, right? That's what has been happening. Hold on, let me just double check that. I wanted to get this done before we moved out because it's actually kind of frustrating.
Aha. We did find it. So car moves backwards, front right door opens. Okay, so that's a mechanics kit as well. Okay. I'm going to try and keep my headlights off too. If you don't know where to look for like what's sapping the battery, if you see it here, you see that marking up now? That's because like the turbines that I've got are kicking in to charge the battery up. If it was raining, my uh, my hydro attachment that I've got for the battery would be replenishing that too. Is that an armored one there? It is. Okay. Got to get out of the habit of looking down to, to put this thing in park. It's a really useful thing that we've got, but old habits die hard, I guess. Especially when it's so repetitive like that. Come on, we can get this. I want those extra thermosap crystals. Go on. There you go. It was so painstakingly slow grabbing them as well. Ah, it's not worth it. Go, go, go. <laughs> Close the door. Come on, let's get moving. When the areas are like this, they're honestly not too bad. But anything more than what we're dealing with here, you see, I say that, and then... What's this called? The sizzling mist? One thing that I have found a little bit frustrating is with the anomalies. When you try and go around them, even if you are clear of them sometimes, they still interfere with the car. And I don't mean by missing them by millimeters i'm talking like three or four car lengths so you've really got to give yourself a lot of room if you're going to stay clear of them can we go up this way she can make this come on get up there yes oh she's such a beast now we want to go left here i'm trying to get to that other anchor over there in case we need it battery charge is still good I wonder what this is actually going to look like, too, because I think this is on par with the deepest section that we've actually been to. Speaking of, as well, I have been trying to work out the characters a little bit. And from what I can tell, Oppie is absolutely putting on something because she's kind of hiding something with that thick exterior that she's got. There's history between her and Francis, 100%. He seems to have gone radio silent all of a sudden, and Tobias is the character that's kind of carrying everything at the moment, being larger than life, trying to keep everybody level-headed and calm and put all the faith into the driver, us. But, yeah, I really want to know where this is going. I felt terrible for Oppie when she was talking about Alan, so hopefully she gets some closure and... Hold on, down this way? Yeah, these tourists, they're cropping up so much more as well. And there's more over there. That anomaly is actually a pain in the ass. I'm going to try and avoid that. Go around this way. Let's put the headlights on. Not sure if you guys can't see much. I guess you guys can actually see what the drain is like on the battery now. It won't be crazy at the minute because I'm not using everything, but when you do things like this, there you go, look at that, 46. <laughs> Just a little bit of health kick like that. All right. Run down here. Where is it? There it is. It's over there. Look how many there are. Oh. The rocks are breathing. So, does that imply that there's more than meets the eye with everything in the zone? And I mean everything. Things are changing. Things are, are way more than what they just appear on the surface. There we go. Ooh. Those things fire you straight up into the air. Here you go. Fill up the arc device. And that should give us enough. Actually, that's way less than I thought we were going to get. All right, let's spin it round. The idea there was... Whoa. Were the headlights flickering then? Just so you... Yeah, they were. Okay, so you see that? That's not actually like a, a visual glitch. At least <laughs> I'm 99% sure that it's not. It's something with the car. So those little quirks that you're noticing when you're driving around, you'll notice them a lot when you're just grabbing things like resources and stuff. Pay attention to them. Because you will need to fix them with the tinkering station. I believe it's called the thing that we were messing around with before. 
and it will help. See, it's really misleading as well, because when you're in part of the zone like this, you feel like you're in control, and at any moment, it can be snatched away from you with a storm or with something going wrong on the car. And some people are really going to like that. Some people are really going to hate it. Like, there's definitely an aspect to this where you need to sink time into it to get anywhere in the zone, to make sure the car is leveled up <laughs> to get through certain points. I do like it, but I won't lie. It has been a hell of a grind. What's this? The D20? I hope we get to see what that is. Because I really don't know how far we are right now. What's that? A crude panel? Leave that. Wait. What is this? One MRE? No, we'll definitely take that. Extreme conditions, anchor party, fuel evaporation, and swift storm. So everything that we don't want. Good to know. I'm going to stop by that section in the center there. Just to grab that anchor. And then we're not hanging around. We are on the move. Look at that. The pipes have got things like growing on the sides of them. This stuff is just all bad news. It's all acid and... Oh, come on. Hang in there. We're okay. Sometimes things are just so hard to avoid. Let's just stop the wipers for a second. Yeah, look, we got things over there. If you're brave enough, you definitely can stay in these zones for a little bit of time. But once things start closing in, I would recommend you, <laughs> you dip as quickly as possible. Come on. Just keep going. The car's looking okay for now, which I'm actually quite surprised about. I thought things were going to be insane right from the go when we came into this zone. And if I'm not mistaken, I think we're going to get, like, corrupt energy here. Or the negative type of energy, so I do want to look out for it. Can we go past it? Yeah, we're going into the instability here. Where is the energy, then? It's up there somewhere. All right. We gotta look for it because I'm gonna need it to get back to the auto shop, so. Let's have a look. Ooh, you know what I've just spotted? These are the things I was telling you guys. See these little red things? Oh, they have all the thermo sap crystals. Right, let's go. Come on. Auto park. Nice. So you wanna switch to one of these. The best thing for you to do is make sure you have like one of the vacuums, and then you can just suck all of these things up. Look at that, you get so many of them too. I don't actually need all of these, but I may as well try and grab a few while I'm here. Yeah, having the vacuum is so nice. Be able to pick them up super easy as well. Last one. I should get that lead too, but I think I'm going to pass. I get really on edge when I come into these zones. Come on, grab it. Time to bounce. Let's go, go, go. And in there. Oh, and now the zone's closing in. <laughs> I'm telling you guys, stuff goes wrong so quick here. It'd help if you can drive too. <laughs> oh, did I just kill one of those jelly things? Nope. Shit, no, 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 let me go. Oh, I can't tell you how much I hate you things. Yep, they punctured my tire. I can't keep driving on it either because I think it's just going to make it worse. Let's try and get up the hill and then I can repair as well as snag another anchor from the top of this. Come on, you can make it. We got this. It's over there to the left. I see it. It's one closer though. There we go. Right, front right wheel. I got to rip. Oof. Stay away from the acid. Go, 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 go. Come on. Grab it. The reason why I'm risking this is because I don't know what's ahead of where we're about to go, so... Let's grab one of those. Which is the ceiling kit, both of them. Come on. There we go. Don't hang around. Just go, just go, just go. That was like a direct hit on the top of the car. I can fix that later. Let's just go. That zone is closing, but I think... We'll be okay. As long as there's none of those stupid jelly things. They just pull you away from... Oh, that truck. Oh, I already know that's got so much cool shit in there, but... I don't want to get caught out. I know what you're thinking. You've got time. I know, but I don't want to risk it. 
Let's do the missions. If we get a little bit of time after that. Oh, I've said it. No. Oh, look at that. Oh, I hate everything you stand for. Piece of shit. Oh, what is this? Reach the first crossing point. Ooh. All right. Well, we got a bunch of energy here. I'm guessing it's that green marker down there too. What is this? Is like a, a dead city or something? I bet there's so much cool shit here that you can scan. Look, there's something down there. What's that? It's a fire. Got the little plasma towers over there. Oh, we're going right towards this. What is that? Let's go and scan it. A devil grinder. Oh, I love devil. I'm just joking. I'm not doing it again. Let's just keep going. No idea what that is, but that is absolute death. I think we got to drive through it as well. What? How much? This way? What is that? What? They're the tourists. Oh, a tour bus. Okay, I saw those. I saw that we needed one of those for an upgrade. I'm, I'm not 100% sure. It might have been one of the engines, maybe. It's round this way. Gonna kind of scoot around here. Oh, look how many of these things there are. Oh, don't hit one. Ooh. A charge stop. Flip the switch in the tower to turn on circuit one. Okay. In here. I think this is what Oppie was talking about, or Tobias, when they said they were going to reroute the power, right? I think it's this. Yeah, there we go. There are old shuttle stops at each crossing point. Use them to recharge your battery and hope they're still in working condition after all these years. Okay. So, wait, we're, we're actually going through there now? Okay, it says install functioning limb shield to ensure a safe crossing. All right, let's put this thing on then. Which one is it? This one? This one was the worst one, right? Yeah, let's put you on the floor. I'm just going to get rid of that for now. You on there. I'm actually going to keep this just in case. I might need it. <laughs> Probably won't, but I might need it. Sign the limb shield to the car's ability. Okay, we can do that. Make sure we do this first. Which one do we want it on? I definitely want it on shift, so... Let's put that on there. Did I leave the back open? I hate when I do that. There we go. All right, so moment of truth then. So this is where we've got to find... Wait, 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 wait. What's missing? Oh, I'm missing something off the back. Let's get rid of that steel bumper, and then we'll just put this one on. The reason why I'm not putting the, uh, the limb pulse emitter on is because I don't know how much of the battery this thing is going to drain, so... Yeah. I think we're good. <laughs> I guess we're about to see. Link gate 1A, link gate 1B, 1C. So we are, we're going through this then. Alright. Here we go. Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh yeah! So is this what Alan stopped from happening to the entire world then? Oh, by driving through them, we're actually like causing some kind of connection. We're making a circuit. Keep an eye on that battery there. I mean, we are restoring a little bit of power back to it, but I don't know how long that's going to last. That's so cool. We're having to hit these like connectors and it's, it's jumping it with us. There you go. Can that reach from here? Which way are we going? Straight through. Are we going to go through all of this? Wait, no way. Tobias, how's the power rally? Well, the neighbors are complaining about the flickering lights, but I told them to light some candles and sit tight. Francis? Levels are good. Holding steady. 
Oof. Okay, another charge stop. Perfect. I was getting a little bit worried about that. Circuit complete. Keep it up, driver. Thank you. <laughs> I will. I'll try. <laughs> Off we go again. So we got a link four this time. Two A, B, C, and D. All right, get that shield back on. Oh, this looks so good. The sounds as well. See, this is why you want to look after the car. It has become the protector. Getting some interference, Tobias. The power supply is wavering. I'm working on it. A local battery farm is oh. up the bus. She hasn't been taxed like this in a while, but I'm easing her into it. Don't worry. That scared me, that kind of spinning blade thing. Just keep it going. Oh, this is way further. There's another one down there. Battery farms one through three are reporting total power drain. They're spent. How long to recharge? Could take up to a day. Oh, no, I got, I got this. I'm hoping that the charge that we get from these things is is going to be enough to charge the arc device and get us back home. Because if it's not, finding power around here, and I did see the anchor back there too. That is going to be terrifying. Right, I need to stay here for a second under this charge spot. Stay here. There we go. The minute I'm kind of... Wait, 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 wait. Let me back up a sec. shit, shit. Total power loss on stations 9 through 15. <gasps> I'm on it. Oh, shit. Get that power back up. The gate at the final crossing point won't open without it. I'm rerouting power from Battery Farm 6. EC. Too much and you'll blow out your control center. Too little and the entire array's going down. We have no choice. Get the power back on, please. <laughs> I need you now more than ever. Let's keep it going. I think we're doing okay, though. We're avoiding all these anomalies and we are creating this circuit. We're linking everything. Keep it going. Ooh, oh, I've got to go through that. I so badly want to stop and get some of this stuff too. Oh, that's so close. <laughs> Threading the needle. Just keep it moving. I really can't slow down either because of the weight of the vehicle now because we're using lead. <laughs> Six cores overloaded. I mean, it's shutting down. We can't lose the remnant. I won't let it go. I... Get back inside. The radiation's peaking. I've got to repair it. I'll be damned if I'm gonna let this plan fail. We're too close. Your theory, we can still prove it. I... Stop. It's too dangerous out there. Tobias, please, Tobias, come back. Oh no. Oh no, Tobias, no! Not like this! Oh no, Francis, don't! Oh no! We'll save him. Come on, charge, charge, charge. I'm at the battery farm. The fuse box is completely liquefied, but I can bypass it. Francis, I need you back at the control board. Not now, Oppie. The minute Tobias reroutes that line, you need to push the connection. Miss it by a split second and we lose the entire power grid. Oh. Almost ready. Please don't do this. Francis, it's now or never. I'm rerouting the grid now. I'll be waiting for you. Oh, no. Oh, that's so heartbreaking. Tobias is literally dying right now and Francis basically stabilized everything so we could get through. Oh no! I know there's not really been anyone else in this apart from just us and our vehicle, but I would love to, like, kind of see him, like, waving us down, like, help, please. 
<laughs> oh, wow. The car's taken a lot more damage than I thought it would there. Oh, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Just go. Give us a signal, Tobias. Tobias, stay with us. I got you, Hoppy. Friends. <laughs> well, what do you know? One time, I find myself out of things to say. Hoppy, take care of him for me. Oh, oh yeah. man, no, 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 no. Please, tell me we can pick him up. Francis, I love you forever. I love you forever. That is fucking heartbreaking. Power's back online. Francis, now! Tobias, 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 answer. Tobias, Wait. Oh, I've got to open the door at the tower. Don't do it. You can't go out there. Driver. The power's holding steady. You could open that final gate. Okay, hold on, Oppie, hold on. I'm a little bit distracted. I'm heartbroken as well as stressed. Stop, stop, stop. Stay there. Right, go, 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 go. Oh, I've, I've totally lost all of my focus now after that. I really wasn't prepared for it. Come on. Let's get the power back on. Go. We're all right. Hang in there, girl. Not long to go. Fully charged. It's not looking great. I think we should be okay, though. I think we've just got to get to this gate. Turn the shield on just in case. Yep. I'm really, really looking for Tobias here. Like in an area like that there to the right. No. Oh, please, no. There's no way. Okay, right. Hold on a second. We can make a few repairs while we're here. Let's have a look. This panel... Top. The entire area got scrambled in instability. I'm afraid Tobias. I told you. I, I, I told you, didn't I? We weren't ready. We should have planned it better. We, we, we should have known. We did the best we could. No. Do not give me that. If we had, he, he'd be here with us. I'm sorry. We've got to help the driver. Don't you dare. What? Wait, is this how you dealt with Alan's death? You just you put your head down and, and, and let work fill the gaps? Actually, that's precisely what I did. And you'll recall the breakthrough in self-healing materials that I made that year. Oh, well, good for you. I'm sure Alan would have been very proud of you using his death that way. You know what? That whole pep talk. I gave you before to convince you to go through with it. That's precisely the same crap Alan would tell me all the time. It's worth the sacrifice. Stay late. Don't worry about me. Finish your work. Then we can start a family. <laughs> always, always he'd spew that crap. So why do you say it to me? Because he has to have been right. Because if I let myself think he was wrong, then... It's all for nothing. I... I can't live with that regret. I gave everything for them. This is the last thing I'm holding on to for myself. Every single day I still think about how if I had left the zone when we had planned to, I wouldn't have lost Alan. I thought, I hoped that Lim Tech was done killing our own. I'm sorry about Tobias. Tobias is... was... all I had. I, um, <coughs> I need to sign off for a while. We'll be here when you're ready. Glad you got through, driver. Power on that stabilizer, and I'll see you back at the garage. 
Oh, that that's such an emotional roller coaster because it genuinely made you feel like Oppie was being super heartless there. Like she only cared about getting the job done, right? Because she's felt that pain before. It's almost like she wanted Francis to go through that to, to know what she was going through. Oh, but when, when Francis said, we told you he wasn't ready. Oh, no. And then Tobias saying that he loved you forever and stuff like that. That reminded me so much of Tony Stark. If you know, you know. I don't need to say it. I love you, 3000. Pretty much what we did before when we reactivated them. Oh, before we do that, I'm going to this. <laughs> I missed one earlier, so I'm going to grab this real quick. Anything good. All the things. Oh, these blow torches as well. They actually act as a, a way to repair your vehicle too. Like if you look at the headlight, you can just do it real quick on the fly. There we go. She's working. I think it's time to go. Oh yeah, <laughs> that's the sound that it's time to go. Okay, we gotta go that way then. Can I just drive like this? Or is this going to be a bad idea? Okay. Not too much drama. That's fine. <laughs> oh! There we go. Welcome back. Now we know where the well is, but you're the first to step foot in the deep zone in over 15 years. And I need more time to understand Alan's suppression method. So why don't you stretch your legs and chart the deep zone while you're at it? We'll need to map a way to the well as it is. Stretch my legs? Oppie, you do know, like, I've been grinding for like six hours, right? I don't think I've mentioned it to the people at home, but... <laughs> I do not need to stretch my legs any more than they are stretched. I've been doing lunges for the last six hours, Oppie. What do you mean? Okay, we got a pearl. Let's see what we get. Is it just going to be scrap? Okay, we got a little bit of steel there. Ooh. Oh, we needed copper, right? I can't remember what it was for. Was it for the engine? I mean, look at this. They're so worth it if you come across them. No, no, no. <laughs> get off of that. It's quite enough of that nonsense from that fax machine. Oh, those. Is that what they're called? D20s? Or is that just the name that the game's given them? I've been rocking the pizza for the longest time. Yeah, those things. I kind of figured they'd be like chrome or something. That's usually how you see them in movies. You know what? It's been a minute since I've messed around with any of this stuff. Let's see what we can change up. We're definitely not changing our root and toot and tardigrade. He's sticking. Pizza, the teddy bear. We've not had the blimp. The UFO we've not had for a while as well. Hold on. I'm not really sure about the blimp. The pizza slice is more my style or the UFO. Yeah, we're going UFO. Steering wheel. Just kind of got the old one right now. Spaceship steering wheel, no. I did find this, which is a, uh, a sword shifter. <laughs> we'll rock that for a little bit because I know I've not been really using it. What about this one? We'll go back to this. I found the, uh, the logo for Arda as well, but I didn't quite use it because we don't like them. So... <laughs> Let's go back to the spaceship. Found a salty aerial, but nothing's better than this one. And think that's everything that we want to add. Right? Got a little UFO in there, just abducting people. And a little tardigrade, which has got his hat through his neck. <laughs> Classic. Oh, okay. So I've just scrapped a bunch of stuff to try and get the copper that I needed because I really didn't want to go out again. So... We've got more than enough of the thermosap crystals because we found a bunch more when we were out there. We've got more than enough steel sheets, gas cylinders, and we got 16 copper wire. Let's craft this thing. So this is the turbo light engine. Ooh. Look at that. Right, let's get rid of this piece of shit. Throw you over there. And install you. Hopefully now... That gives us everything we need to power this thing along with all the lead plates that it's got. Now, I am going to have to keep an eye on the fuel with this because obviously with it being heavier and this thing being thirstier, 
<laughs> we could run into problems, but I am still uh, using the hydro generator and the side fuel tank, as well as one on the back seat here and the expanded fuel tank that we already had. So <laughs> we'll, we'll see if that's enough. Extreme conditions, something's moving. What is that? Fuel evaporation and a swift storm. No, please, no, come, no! Don't you, no! Oh, I will have my revenge. Oh no, that's one of those things that steals things. No, give it back. No, no, let it go. Give it me back. Oh, I, I can't tell you guys how much I hate those things. Let's just go. They are by far the worst thing in the exclusion zone. Well, at least what I've seen so far. Oh, of course it's going to be like this. So we're in the deep zone, and it says, Return through a deep zone gateway. So... I mean, I guess if I follow the road around here and then do a hard right when we need to, we should be able to get to that around that side, but we got to play this smart. I don't want to do it now and then struggle getting around the terrain, so <laughs> let's just get a tiny bit closer and then once it turns to red, we'll back up a little bit. I'm going to swipe that as well if I can. There we go. Right, let's grab this while we're here. There we go. Got ourselves a corrupt anchor. Okay, so with that... Whoa, what are these things? Okay, I have to scan those. What are you? A, a ticking tumbler. <laughs> okay. Right, so we're going to go here... We're going to do that, and it's time to go. A little bit of off-roading, but we should be prepared enough for it. Should be, like, over here to the right. Wait, why are we not seeing it? Is that because it's just complete darkness? Oh, I see it. Okay, I see it. It doesn't look like it's on top of the terrain either, so we should be okay. Ooh, that thing's coming in really quick. Okay, yep, we're being swallowed by it. All right, we're there now. All right, Oppy, we did what you said. <laughs> See the basketball over there? Fresh new upgrade waiting for you, driver. Straight out of the oven. Ooh. I love the smell of an upgrade. Where? Okay, so it says, <laughs> get the overcharger from Oppie's Numa tube. What do you think, Francis? It could work. <laughs> it will work. We don't know anything about the well, but the driver doesn't have to go in completely empty-handed. You're removing the Arc device's limiter and overloading its charge capacity. Right. So no matter how much energy the car's getting blasted with, the Ark will be able to overpower it to open a gateway. It's the only way to extract the driver from whatever's going to happen at the trigger point. And then we use Alan's suppression technique to keep the whole thing from completely exploding? This sounds like a lot. <laughs> but is that gonna work? Arc device mods looking good. Now you can head out and overcharge it. We'll give you instructions when you're en route. Okay, well, I guess we're going to keep things going then. It says, reach the barricade operating station. Let's see where that is. No doubt it's going to be, like, deeper than the deep zone. Oh my god, it is. It's actually all the way in, like, the center of it as well. <laughs> so there's a clear theme. Each and every time we've had to just jump one wall to go to the next, to go deeper into the zone, to go here. You know the last one's going to be, like, up here somewhere. <laughs> and there's going to be no escape. Okay. Looks like we made it. Anomaly Barricade, Arda Site, Red Spires in the Deep Zone. Alright, before we go anywhere, 
We just take a second to fix up some stuff if we can. Headlights took a real beating on the way here. Give us the rundown, Francis. What? Me? The electrical grid is your department. Uh, you know the plan as well as I do. So you'd rather trust me than have to speak up for yourself? Uh, uh. Guess you're on your own, driver. Good luck. Okay, fine. The regular anchors aren't enough to overcharge the ARC device to the level we need. But there's an old anomaly barricade we can piggyback onto. It's archaic technology, an early attempt to stop anomalies from drifting out into the wider Olympic Peninsula. It worked for some time. Until it didn't. But long enough to get the old wall built. The barricade's in bad shape, but what's a little rampant voltage leakage? Not like the ghosts and goblins of the deep zone were mined. And if they do, more the better for Francis. Huh? Appreciate the olive branch, Abby, but boy, do you have a lot to learn about the paranormal. Ah, <laughs> yeah, newbie. I'd be happy to give you a primer after all this is over. Ugh, hard pass. I'm far too old for that. The car will induce a current along the barricade, in the same way you did it crossing the old wall. Every connection point needs to be induced within a limited time. Electrify the entire barricade, and we'll have all the power we need. You heard him. Floor it, driver. Okay, so link all barricade gates. You're near the barricade's operating station. Can you get in there and look around? We need something that will give us the lay of the land. Give me one second. So scan barricade map in the operations tower. We can definitely do that. Where's that? There we go. And then link all the barricades Perfect. gates. I'm uploading the barricade map to your arc device. By my calculations, if you electrify all eight posts, you'll have all the power you need. Oppie, does that seem right? Does it seem right to you? I I, I think so. Yeah, I, I ran the numbers a few times and I Then get to it, driver. I mean, if we have enough right now to make like an extra putty or something, I think I might do that. Let's see. If we go here. Yeah, we can. Okay. That's good. All right. That's worth it. Oh, it's all of these. All right. Let's just get to it then. I mean, it's raining. The battery's going to get cycled and charged. So. Whoosh. Ooh, hold on. No, 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 no. Not yet. I got to put the. Uh, the limb shield on that. Ooh, that could have been bad. Do I need to put that on? I mean, I'm going to do it. <laughs> there we go. Let's try one with it off. Can't really tell if it's doing anything. Obviously, with the anomalies, I think it might. Uh, just try and avoid them. With it raining too, this is like perfect scenario for us with what we've got attached to the car. Let's just try and get all these connections. That's cool though, going around the entirety of the map. Linking everything. Ooh. What are these big spikes coming out of the ground, right, too? It's working. We're doing it, Francis. We're doing it for Tobias. Oh, I hope he's still alive. I really do. Probably my favorite character. I mean, they've all been great. They've all had their own, like, thing, but... I like Tobias' energy. And he's a little weirdo, like... A lot of us. <laughs> he likes the paranormal stuff. Gotta get on board with that. Feeling good, up here. <laughs> Listen to that soundtrack too. <laughs> this has been very, very cool. Very different, but very, very cool. It's not over yet. Are we good, Francis? 
Oh shit. Oh. Don't throw me around. Come on. Come on, fight back. Oh, missed that too. Drive through the electrified operating station. Recharged. Arc device readings at 4.2 gigajoules and holding steady. Good. Then we're all set. The arc device is ready to go. It'll hold that charge for as long as we need it. It's time to go. Pedal to the metal driver. Storm's coming. It's time to go. <laughs> oh no. Do I go down this? Oh, we're committed now. I'm going. Come on, car. Hang in there. You beautiful machine. We've been through so much together. I've hated you. I wish I never met you. But now, I love everything about you. We're going to do this together. I guess we're about to find out where this gateway takes us. Oh, shit. Okay. There we go. <laughs> oh, back to the shop. Okay. Nice work out there. The whale could be a lot. Take your time and gear up. No telling what that remnant's going to unleash. I've grown attached to it. I don't want to leave. This is going to be the end. Hey, driver. I sent you something, if you don't mind taking a look. Take him with you. Get it from Oppie's... Oh, no. It's something from Tobias, isn't it? Did he make me something? Hold on. Tobias's favorite cryptid of them all. If it's not too much to ask... Uh... If you could put it on your dashboard, so Tobias can come along for the ride, for wherever you're going. Uh, but don't feel obligated by any means. No, we're absolutely doing it. Hold on, I want to know what his favorite cryptid was. Is it Bigfoot? It's got to be, right? It has to be. As much as I definitely prefer my rootin' tootin' tardigrade, <laughs> we'll rock this in memory of Tobias. I'm so sad that we don't get to see him again. At least I don't think we will. The way Francis is making it out. All right, I'm going to fix things up. Be back with you guys in just a second. All right, where are we going to? Yep, okay, so that is the end. So we got to make our way all the way from one side of the exclusion zone all the way through to the very end. It's actually called the end of the road as well. <laughs> oh, that breaks my heart a little bit. I don't want it to end. As much as parts of this have been pretty difficult at times to like work out where the resources are or what you need and stuff this has actually been a lot of fun and i've 100 percent bonded with the characters i've absolutely bonded with this thing it's a machine <laughs> right now and the beauty of it is you kind of outfit this thing to whatever it is you feel necessary like my build won't be the same as other people in the exclusion zone and I love that. For the price of that gas. <laughs> oh my god. No, I'm staying here. That's amazing. <laughs> the well facility. Red Spire's deep zone. That's where we're going. Anybody gonna come in? Oppie? Francis? This is really it, huh? <laughs> the end of the road. Soon we'll finally see for ourselves what caused the mass hallucination and what Tobias and Alan died for. And whether it was all worth it. Francis. Yeah? Thank you for trusting me. Whoa. When you had every reason not to. What is that? Getting to this point together with you. It makes me feel like my old self again. It's been an honor to watch you work, Dr. Turner. 
Do I go down this section? These gamma readings. Are no. they real? I, I can't even begin to guess what could be outputting this much radiation. Some sort of energy reservoir, a massive fission reaction, or a, a portal. Atlantis. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the bonded. <laughs> Listen to Oki Laughlin. If this thing really leads us to Atlantis. I'm turning in my PhD. Yeah, if it goes to Atlantis, we're going viral. Only Tobias were here to see it. I would have liked to hear his take on all of this. For once. <laughs> all right, driver. You're almost to the threshold. Remember, Francis and I have got your back. Once you get that car to the well, we'll keep the gamma ray burst under control for as long as we can. Whatever happens, whatever state you find yourself in, the Octavice will be your safety net. Use it. Get back to us, you hear me? Ready when you are, driver. I'll try my best, but that <laughs> that doesn't look great. It's opening. Godspeed, driver. All right. <laughs> What's gonna happen? Here we go. Happy, happy. Did it work? What's the energy output? Damn it, Alan, I'm fine. Uh, uh, light nearly blinded me. C can you read it? Uh, yeah, uh, uh, let me see. Five, 500 kilojoules? Happy, what is this? The future. I call it limb waves. Limb waves? So I don't know if... It... Wait, have I got to jump that? <laughs> oh. I don't know if we're listening to something from the past right now or if Oppie is connected to Alan because of Coffee delivery. Uh, Alan, gosh. Okay, that answers my question. Is it that time already? So, uh, about leaving on. I was thinking how oh, about my Christmas? Yes. Maybe. I just need to solve this instability issue. I love to think about leaving the Olympic Peninsula like this. Yeah, there's always more to do. I know. I'm sorry. And I love you for it. I'm just wondering if you'll really be able to walk away from all this. It's okay if you can't. You abandoned the world to work here beside me. Fair is fair. Lentech is a world-changing discovery. Your world-changing discovery. Fairness isn't even a consideration. We agreed to have children, and I'm not having them in this hellhole. Good, because I'd love to have eight. <laughs> then I hope you're ready to carry at least half of those yourself. I love you. I love you. It's absolutely adorable, but I think I just heard something then. Alan said Lim Technologies was her creation. So that explains a lot about Oppie's personality then. She feels completely responsible not only for what's happening, but for the death of Alan too. And what he sacrificed to keep her dream alive and not only save her, but so she could, I guess, finally fix and finish her work. I think that's what I'm getting from this anyway, because it's all happening in the moment. I'll probably kind of digest this afterwards, but this is cool though. Wow. Tobias, the movers are here. Wait. Oh, no. Why aren't you packed? <laughs> I ain't going. The evacuation orders... The evacuation orders can go to hell. We leave, and we never see the inside of these walls again. All the things we've been investigating, the ripple, the echoes from the swamp, they'll all fade away. I'm going to stay and chase down these stories, wherever they take me. Tobias, I... Stay here. With me. Oh, it's so sad hearing Tobias's voice again. <laughs> Ooh, whoa! You here to quote? I'm here to deliver the committee's decision. You have been found guilty of doctoring experimental data. This action is in clear violation of artist scientific integrity. Judgment has been rendered. You may stay and work, but your clearance will be lowered to level three. So I'm to be a glorified flash cleaner. Take it as a win. You could have been court-martialed instead. Yeah. I'm sure you would have liked that much better. What I like has no bearing on this decision. See you on Monday, Dr. Cook. There it is. 
I knew it. I knew there was history between them. I mean, you could kind of tell because of the tension. But... So she was the one that demoted him then. When it was mentioned earlier. The committee made a decision. So no wonder then when... I mean, obviously, it's heartbreaking either way when Tobias died. But he was legit all Francis had left. Do you read me? Driver, you passed through some sort of opening. We, we managed to hold it steady, but the energy expulsion is growing. We don't have much longer. If you can hear this, you need to get back now. Come in. Hey, look. The gang's back together. Tobias? I, um... Uh, I never told you how grateful I was that you stayed behind in the zone. With me. These years... <laughs> best of my life. Foraging for mushrooms, slogging through swamplands, combing through hours and hours of terrible field recordings. Not a single moment wasted. Thank you. For everything. It was all you. You made me feel capable. That anything was possible. That I wasn't some second-rate scientist. All my happiness was thanks to you. And I'm afraid... I'm afraid of how I'll survive without you. I'm not. You got this. You always have. Hey, Oppie. Alan sends his regards. Hey, he wants to know why you haven't taken his advice yet. <laughs> wow. So Francis got the driver. Is that a gun on your dash? Oh, I'll be damned. <laughs> so it's called a gun Until next time. Oh, Tobias. no. Tobias. Driver, if you could hear this, we can't keep the well stable for much longer. Wherever you are, come back. My emotions are all over the place, Oppie. How about you give me a second? So Francis got a final word to Tobias, and Tobias gave Oppie a few last words from Alan. At least that's a nice way to close the book. <laughs> but I still think there's more coming. I really do. This isn't the end yet. Super creepy. No idea where this is leading us to. I'm hoping it leads to a happy ending. <laughs> we we don't need any more questions. How you doing, girl? You okay? <laughs> I didn't like that. I didn't like being on my own. I've definitely grown attached. All right. Down the road we go. Nobody here. Yeah, just a little longer. Hold steady, Francis. Keep those limb faces aligned. Not even a point zero zero one deviation, you get me? I'm trying. Whoa, whoa! Holy hell. <laughs> it's going to take it a bit easier than that. I thought we had to get somewhere quick. Oh, listen to this music. We're going. I see it. I see where we're going to get to. Oh, whoa. don't get squished. The anchor field is wobbling. Oppie, anything we can do oh. to stabilize things on your side. Punching it as hard as I can. Punch it harder, Oppie, please. Back here? You made it back, driver. All in one piece, it looks like. And no sign of the Remnant's energy signature anywhere in that car. Y you're free. But the car's maintained its link to you. 
Fascinating. We are one. You'll never know how far the remnant's obsessions wormed into your head, but you should be safe from it getting any worse. In theory. Abby, I'm sorry. You didn't get to talk to Alan again. We managed to pull off the near impossible. And the first thing you do is apologize? Sorry. I, I mean, um... <laughs> Don't worry. It was Tobias's fault. He hogged the frequency all for himself yet again. You heard him too. <laughs> I did. That means I didn't imagine that last conversation with Alan. And you know what else? What? <sighs> that your theory was right. And Tobias called it. All that bluster, and he ended up showing us scientists a thing or two. Those moments we heard, they were all from the past. Being inside that well somehow allowed the remnant to access those imprints and replay them. But Tobias's voice wasn't from the past, it was from somewhere else entirely. Yep. But where? And how? No clue. Do me a favor. Once you figure it out, don't bother telling me. <clears throat> I'm leaving the zone. I'm sorry, what? Alan came to tell me goodbye. And that I was forgiven 37 years ago. <laughs> I didn't listen. So now, finally, I'm going to take his advice. I should have left the zone a long time ago. But if we solve this, maybe there's a way to speak to him again. I heard what I needed to hear. It only took me 37 years to listen. <laughs> anyway, all that sounds like a young scientist game. It's not for me anymore. Francis, you decide what to do from here. You can carry the torch and continue the research, or get out of this cursed place and find your own way. It's your decision. And Driver, you're free now. You can do what you want from here. But if you'll allow an old woman one last hope, stay here with Francis. There's so many more stories for the Zone to tell. Deal. And the both of you are young enough to listen. My ears are bad. And I refuse to hear them. I've removed all access restrictions to my systems, Francis. The helm is yours. Uh, wait, I... I don't know if I can do this alone. You're not alone. You've got clear eyes, ears open to the impossible, and the driver. I'm here, Francis. Dr. Cook? Driver? It's been a pleasure. This is Dr. Ophelia Turner. Signing off. Arby? Arby! Goodbye, Opie. Really? Well, I, um... A driver, if you don't mind sticking around with me, Oppie was right. There's still so much of the zone that we still don't know about. But with your help, we can tell those stories. I, I'm no Oppie. But I'll do the best I can. You're no longer bound to the car. But it stayed with you, and will continue to protect you as you travel the zone. Go on, then. As long as you're willing to drive, I'm along for the ride. I heard stories that there was Bigfoot eating mushrooms in this zone, and we need to find him. <laughs> so there we have it, guys. That brings an end to Pacific Drive. I'm going to say that's a happy ending. Francis gets to stay in the zone, continue his work, and I guess if he really wants to, get in touch with Tobias again if he knows or works out how to do that and wherever they are. I'm sure something is going to come of that. You would imagine that he'd probably want to try and find where he is. Oppie basically got the closure she needed when she heard from Alan that she was forgiven all those years ago. And then right at the very, very end, we were able to sever the connection between the Remnant's curse, I'm going to call it that, and the driver, which we chose to stay with Francis, which I think is the right play. We got to give him some company. We got to help him out, work out what's going on here. Almost like a protector of the zone. I won't lie to you guys. There were moments in this that I found pretty tough considering how hard certain resources were to find. But I guess that's part and parcel of being in the exclusion zone. You really don't know what you're going to get. But I enjoyed it. Something a bit different, at least for me. I've not really experienced something like that with the vehicle and obviously in a world like this. And hopefully it was good for you guys to watch too. And if you enjoyed it, drop a like on the video. Subscribe to keep up to date with everything, and I'll see you all in the next one.